Have you ever wondered what the world would look like in 10 years? What if I told you that in the next decade, we'll be using hydrogen to power our cars and heat our homes? There's an energy revolution going on, and it's being powered by hydrogen. So, what is hydrogen? Well, it's not just a gas that makes us float high in the air like balloons, which is kind of cool. Hydrogen is also a fuel that can power anything, from cars to homes to airplanes. But here's the thing, while it seems like hydrogen could be the fuel of the future, there are still some questions left unanswered. What kind of impact will this have on our environment? How much will it cost? And most importantly, how do we make sure we don't end up with another oil spill when we try to store it? We'll explore these questions together in this video. Is hydrogen the fuel of the future? The time is right to tap into hydrogen's potential to play a key role in tackling critical energy challenges. Hydrogen is a clean and green fuel that can store energy from the sun and wind and carry it to places where there is no sun or wind. Hydrogen has been in use for many decades in sectors like refining and chemical industries. However, its use as an energy source has started receiving increased interest only in recent years. As this interest and end use grow, the demand for hydrogen will also grow with an expected compound annual growth rate of 5.48% from 2019 to 2025. To ensure that this demand for hydrogen is met sustainably and with minimal impact on the environment, the production of hydrogen should have minimal or no carbon emissions. Such hydrogen, referred to as green hydrogen, can be produced from renewables, nuclear or fossil fuels with carbon capture, utilization, and storage. Hydrogen is a rich source of energy for many reasons, the main being that it's bountiful in supply. While it may take a lot of resources to harness it, no other energy source is as infinite as hydrogen. That essentially means there is no possibility of it running out like other sources of energy. Hydrogen can be produced either on-site or centrally and then distributed. It can be produced from methane, gasoline, biomass, coal, or water. The factors like amounts of pollution, technical challenges, and energy requirements vary depending on the sources used. When you burn hydrogen to produce fuel, the byproducts are totally safe, which means they have no known side effects. The main byproduct is water vapor, which is produced when hydrogen burns. This water vapor can be condensed into liquid form and collected as a new source of clean drinking water. How cool is that? Aeronautical companies actually use hydrogen as a source of drinking water. After hydrogen is utilized, it is normally converted to drinking water for astronauts on ship or space stations. When hydrogen is combined with oxygen in a fuel cell, electricity is produced which can be used to power vehicles or drive an electric motor as a heat source and for many other uses. When it combines with oxygen, the only byproducts are water and heat, which is the advantage of using hydrogen as an energy carrier. Hydrogen is an efficient energy type, since it has the ability to convey a lot of energy for every pound of fuel compared to diesel or gas. This categorically means that an automobile that utilizes hydrogen energy will travel more miles than one with an equal amount of gasoline. For example, compared to a conventional combustion-based power plant that usually generates electricity between 33 to 35% efficiency, hydrogen fuel cells are capable of generating electricity of up to 65% efficiency, having capacity about three times more. The high efficiency and power of hydrogen makes it an ideal fuel source for spaceships, allowing them to quickly take off on exploration missions. It's also the safest form of energy to perform such an energy-intensive task. Hydrogen energy is, in fact, three times more potential than gasoline and other fossil-based sources of fuel. This ideally means that you need less hydrogen to complete an enormous task. It also offers motive power for airplanes, boats, cars, and both portable and stationary fuel cell applications. The downside to using hydrogen in cars is that it's practically difficult to store in cryogenic or high-pressure tanks. Electrolysis is a method in which water is separated into hydrogen and oxygen. In this case, renewable energy can be used to power electrolyzers to produce hydrogen from water that provides a sustainable system independent of petroleum products and is also non-polluting, producing no emissions. Some of the renewable sources used to power electrolyzers are wind, hydro, solar, and tidal energy. After the hydrogen is produced in an electrolyzer, it can be used in a fuel cell to produce electricity. The byproducts generated in the fuel cell process are water and heat. 
If fuel cells operate at high temperatures, the system can be set up as a cogenerator with the waste energy used for heating. Numerous national and regional policy targets are coming together in the global momentum towards net zero emissions by 2050. Hydrogen is a significant part of the solutions puzzle, together with renewable fuels and electrification. Advances in technology are making electrolysis less expensive than before, and electricity from wind, solar, and hydro is much more available, meaning the production of green hydrogen, a truly carbon-free fuel unlike other varieties of hydrogen, is now a real contender to transform the energy market. Hydrogen trucks will be especially suitable for long distances and heavy loads. They can also offer a solution in countries where the charging possibilities of batteries are limited. In 2025, the hydrogen trucks will be tested in traffic in northern Europe. Volvo's hydrogen trucks will use two fuel cells, generating 300 kilowatts of power. This allows the trucks to cover about 1,000 kilometers. There are already cars powered by hydrogen fuel cells on the market, such as the Toyota Mirai and the Hyundai iX35. But widespread uptake is hampered by high prices and the lack of hydrogen filling stations. There are only 550 in the world, with nearly half of those in Germany and Japan. Another interesting application is using green hydrogen to store renewable energy and move it around the world. Sunshine is abundant in the Australian desert, but how do you get solar energy to cities thousands of kilometers away? The answer could be using that renewable electricity to create hydrogen, which is then transported as a gas by pipelines, or in liquid form by ships. Hydrogen could also solve the problem of variable output from wind and solar, allowing producers to store excess renewable electricity in hydrogen when supply exceeds demand. While hydrogen energy has a lot of admirable benefits, it's not really the outright preferable, clean, and cheap energy source for most governments and companies. In the gaseous state, it's quite volatile. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, but it's incredibly difficult to extract from water. There are two main processes for extracting hydrogen, electrolysis and steam reforming. Both of these processes are extremely expensive. This is actually the real reason it's not heavily used across the world. Today, hydrogen energy is chiefly used to power most hybrid vehicles. A lot of research and innovation is required to discover cheap and sustainable ways to harness this form of energy. Until then, hydrogen energy would remain exclusively for the rich. One of the hydrogen properties is that it has a lower density. In fact, it is a lot less dense than gasoline. This means that it has to be compressed to a liquid state and stored the same way at lower temperatures to guarantee its effectiveness and efficiency as an energy source. Hydrogen fuel has been around for decades, but it's never been widely used because there are no good methods for storing and transporting it. But that could all change soon. Scientists have developed ways of storing hydrogen in a solid state, which means it can be transported safely in much the same way we do with gasoline today. The problem is that while hydrogen looks like water on the surface, it's actually very dangerous if you get too much exposure to it. For example, if there was an accident at a hydrogen filling station. This means that we need to come up with new ways of storing and transporting hydrogen safely before we start using it widely in our cars. Nowadays, energy from fossil fuels still rules the world. There is also no framework put in place to ensure cheap and sustainable hydrogen energy for the normal car owner in the future. Even if hydrogen were to become cheap right now, it would take years to become the most used source of energy, since vehicles themselves and service stations would need to be customized to conform to hydrogen requirements. This would require massive capital outlay. But the question is, will it have the same impact on our environment as fossil fuels? Hydrogen is a truly clean fuel. It doesn't emit any greenhouse gases when it burns so it doesn't contribute to climate change in the same way as fossil fuels do. Hydrogen is still a new technology, and it's not yet clear how much it will cost. But one thing we do know is that hydrogen cars are expensive, so they won't be an option for everyone. Well, that's it from this video. What do you think of this hydrogen hype? Do you think hydrogen could be the clean fuel of the future? Share your thoughts by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week.